Walk around the compound and we'll see some tigers. Yo, we're out here at CARE. Check it. You gotta stop. <laughs> Collaborate and listen. Ice is covering the trees and glisten. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, look at all this stuff. We got branches. Couldn't handle it, huh? Weak sauce. Weak sauce. Your sauce is weak, madam. I spent all day trying to perfect that sauce. Still weak. We got a little bit of uh, ice, as you say. It fell from the sky. It fell from the sky. It covered a number of things. Oh yeah, still attached in a lot of places. But uh, yeah, this is a this is a phenomenon that uh, definitely is, I would say, a little bit more pronounced in the middle and southern portions of the of the country. Just like this, just this absolute. And other people are like, "We got ice storms too." I'm like, I, "Yes, you do. I know you do." There's like, look, phenomenon can happen. All, every single one of the fifty states has had a tornado touchdown. Every single one. Did you know that? Every single one. Every single one. I don't know where Noe is. She's probably like, this is for the birds. There's probably a few cats that are expressing that sentiment. But, uh, oh, let's just get it started. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper Icy winter wonderland, let it go. Uh, episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. O M A G. There are some kitties. What? What's happening? What did you do? Did you start singing Let It Go? Is that what happened? So there's just ice everywhere. Oh! There's another kitty. There she is. I was wondering about you. Not even just the freezing precipitation can dampen your spirits and take the murder out of you. It cannot, not even that can cool slash quench the flaming fury that you feel inside your heart. Ah, oh, look at that. Of course. Of course. I think we got something like four inches of rain, too. It was just... Oh! That short's on. <laughs> Whew. Hi! <laughs> She's like, I don't want to get my feet wet. I don't want to get my feet wet. You're cute. You're very cute. Um, we had the power... Had the power go out last night. Hey, hi, baby. <laughs> but, but, and we're lucky because it's uh, it's probably like either right at, like maybe right right below or right above freezing. And generally speaking, when it's when it's so close to freezing, uh, your your surfaces and your ground are still going to absorb enough radiation, so as to allow melting to occur so as to allow melting to occur and oh gosh i'm gonna come over here take a look Ooh, but yeah we had power power went out last night power went out probably at about like five like five in the afternoon it's actually on the way home. I was driving home from my uh, from worky work capture. Let's capture that. Mm. And hi, <laughs> she calls. She's like, "Can you pick up food?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, what? What happened?" 
She was like, she was literally in the, she had, she had some stuff and she was, she was putting it in the oven and then everyone just went, pew. <laughs> and it's like, ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Look at what happened. So, you know, I went out, yeah, you know, the hunter gatherer that I am, I went out and, you know, got some grub. My family needed me. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That was a very punctuated, a very punctuated move. You look like you're not very happy with uh, the current goings on. Would you care to elaborate? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Where do you think that this stuff came from? <laughs> Ah, uh, you're silly. You're silly. Do you have any more opinions about, you know, the freezing rain? Fun, silly tiger opinions? That's adorable. Drill bit head. Nice. Ooh. And we got the mist, there's the mistiness. The mistis mysticisms. <laughs> Hi bud. But yeah, we got dumped on. Got dumped on. And it wasn't just us that didn't have power, it was like everyone, like the town, Bridgeport over there. I think the whole town had power knocked out. And it was knocked out from, oh gosh, about like five in the morning till about 3.34 in the morning. Actually, yeah, that was which was hilarious because woke up at about 3 3 30, power still wasn't on. Heidi and me and oh, we're up, and then we're texting Rachel, like, you up? And Rachel's like, Yeah, because Rachel gets she's really good, she's wonderful curator. She's checking on the cats, and she's just she gets so worried when stuff like that happens, of course, because we've got like Raven, you got like Bindi, and then we don't have we don't have power there, but they were they were doing fine. You can insulate certain areas and then they retain heat for a while before you really have to start worrying but that we were starting to get close to like okay well i think we got to start worrying about some of this stuff in particular like the lemurs like they have a heater they have a heater inside their housing unit and then you start to think like okay well that the heat that because then we we lock them in we lock them into their um into their housing section and then their heater is on and it just keeps everything all nice and good. But of course the power's knocked out, power's knocked out for hours. Sure, there's gonna be heat in, inside there because it's actually very well insulated. It's very well insulated, so that heat is going to stay into the comfortable levels for a long time. But going into the morning hours, we're just like, eh. And like I was saying, if you're dealing with like temperatures that are down into like the teens and lower, then it's like, okay, well, you know, it's a lot more worrisome, but the temperatures that we were dealing with were like right around that freezing and it's not it 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 really isn't in the grand scheme of like cold and how you got to view that stuff you got you got wiggle room there's leeway like i said they're already in an insulated place that had heat they've got they've got their sawdust and they've got their blankets and then they hug up on each other and it's all good but okay 3 3.30 in the morning, hi snuffle butts, hi snuffle butts, 3.30 three in the morning, what, 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 are you a little bit of a meek, you're a little bit of a meek a soul, a little bit of a meek a soul, hi ZZ, hi baby, 3.30 three in the morning, me and Heidi are up, we're talking to each other, we're like, ah, I'm kind of worried about the lemurs, and yeah, we text Rachel, you up, she's like, yeah, so Rachel and I go go down when we're, we're, we're kind of increasing blankets and we're just making sure that they're okay. We got down there and like the temperature in there, it was it was fine. It was okay. It was like all right. It wasn't like uh, sure. It was a, it was a bit brisk. Yeah. Hi baby. Yeah. Hi baby. Hi. A little bit brisk, but you're not sitting there. Th you're not immediately walking in there, just being just like, oh my gosh, the conditions. No, it, it, like, it was still retaining like a decent amount of heat. 
And all the lemurs, they were in there, they were jumping around, and just having fun. They weren't, yeah, Momo was being a little nut. But we're like, okay, well, let's get some more blankets in here, and let's see if we can do some other stuff, and let's see. But it just, I was gonna, uh, I was going to get one of our generators set up. Because usually you sit there and think like, okay, well, the you know, power shouldn't be off for too long. It was off for a little bit longer, and it's like, all right, well, time to pop the generator out. Time to bust down that old bad boy. And as we're down there, as we're down there, uh, Rachel's kind of with the lemurs, and she's doing blanket stuff, and I'm down at the barn. And I go over to the truck to grab my phone because it's got a flashlight. It's one of the only sources of light. Rachel's got her little lantern, but... Again, we are geographically separated. Hi, Ace. Hi, bud. How are you? And I look up to the house. I notice that the light that is in front of the vet center is on. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> what was up with that? So I'm, I'm in the barn. I take a, I go to one of the light switches in the barn and I just, and then look. Bzzz, the lights coming on. I'm just like, oh, you bastards! Yeah, <laughs> ah, of course the power comes back on right when we're down there trying to get everything done in the middle of the night with all the 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 rain and the ice and what have you. Hi, sugar pie. Not you. Hi. I was talking to the raven. I was talking Hi. to the leopard. <laughs> Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. She's like, thank goodness I get my heater back on. I know there were extra blankets. You were doing pretty good. Rachel kept on checking on you, making sure that this little pretty girl was all good. And she was. Thanks, Karen. Slush, slush, slush. Moist, moist, moist. Mush, mush, mush. It's mush. So yeah, my shorts, they're high. What of it? I like to show off a little bit of leg. Don't judge. What's up, Lex? I'm well. Look at it. Just what do you think of all this stuff, huh? It's crazy, right? Yeah. Everything has been covered in this frozen substance. It's like another world. Another planet. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Cats do fine in this stuff. They're fine. You give them a little bit of extra hay. They are still running around just naked little savages. They don't give a turkey. They could give a turkey. Um, generally speaking, there's a few different scenarios that cause freezing rain to form, to occur. Hi. <laughs> oh. Interesting, huh? It makes crinkle sounds. <laughs> makes it crinkly. Look at the asticles. Look at the testicles. Ah, it's your testicles. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's tes testicles. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. We find it, put it back up there. Oh, gee. I done goofed. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How are you? But there's a few different scenarios. Scenarios and scenarios that allow for the formation of freezing rain. And, whoa, <laughs> look at, 
I don't even, did I catch it? I hope I kind of caught that. I was focused a little bit more on Allie, but she kind of snuck up and she snuffled and then Archie was just like, <laughs> I was like where, where did you come from? Oh my gosh, he was startled. He was very startled. How are you? <laughs> well, you can have, uh, it's basically the result of precipitation falling through uh, varying temperature layers. And those varying temperature layers, they have to be specifically like above and below freezing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can have a situation where you have, you know, like snow is falling, snow is falling, but then it goes through like a warm layer of air that's close to the surface, that's close to the ground, and then it melts. It melts and it goes into a liquid state, but it still retains, it's, it's, crazy because it's a phenomenon called the latent, latent heat of condensation where liquid uh, water can actually retain a liquid state yet be at the freezing level it's wacky it's wacky super cooled water oh my gosh look at you ah oh, you little hippie yeah little flower child why don't you get a job <laughs> i am one with the everything i am one Oh my gosh, that's great. She's digging it. She is digging it. But it is liquid water that freezes immediately on contact. Um, and it's one of those kind of things where it uh, the layer of that warm air near the surface has to be has to only be has to be only so warm and has to only be so thick. If it's if it's uh, too shallow, it's still like the snow that is trying to fall through it is going to still stay snow, but it's going to be a phenomenon known as wet snow. Snow that is wet, for those of you who couldn't uh, deduce. And if that, uh, if that uh, layer is too, uh, if that layer is too thick, then it's just going to come down just like rain. Just cold rain. It's cold rain. Or there's phenomenon where you have a cold layer, warm layer, and then another cold layer at the surface. Cold layer, warm layer, cold layer at the surface. So again, you have the snow falls through the warm layer, and then it can melt, become liquid water, and it can it can, it can become it can become you know, fairly liquidy and fairly above freezing, but then it has to fall through that cold layer, and in the process of falling through that cold layer, it becomes super cooled. Now, that's another one of those kind of things where if that... Oh, hold on. I gotta say hi to this pretty girl. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's just like, your meteorological reasoning is not enough to make me feel happy. I am duly noted, Melita. Duly noted. But that's a phenomenon there with the uh, cold, warm, cold. You got the snow, falls through the warm layer, melts, becomes liquid water, falls through the cold layer. And again, that cold layer at the surface has to be a certain amount of cold and a certain amount of thickness to have the desired effect of freezing rain. Now let's say that that cold layer down at the surface is very cold and very thick. You're going to get that liquid water, it's going to fall through it. It's just going to freeze into solid ice. It's going to become ice pellets. Ice pellets. That's what that is. Or uh, it can also become a sleet, which is just... Again, super, which sleet can, it can have like freezing rain properties where there's liquid water that's attached to a granule of ice. And, and it, that's, it just, oh, that stuff hurts. Pelts you. Doesn't feel good at all. 
Cause it's just you're hit, you're getting hit with a solid piece of ice, and then, uh, but it's also just like that liquid, just like, and then it's like, ah, it's so cold. <laughs> Not fun. Who invented? Who decided this was a good idea? Who made this stuff? Was it you, God? God puts down his beer, and he's like, what? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, I knew that we were going to get a second round. That uh, they were calling and saying that the uh, winter precipitation uh, advisories were not going to be over in the local area until approximately one o'clock in the F Ternin. <gasps> Look at these cuties. They were both down in there. Oh, they were snuggle bugs. They were snuggle bugs. Aww, you guys could have stayed down there. I'm sure it was very warm and toasty. I'm sure it was very warm and toasty. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what is up with you? Oh, freezing rain. And you notice a lot like how the, the the ground itself, it's not necessarily frozen. It's because the ground oftentimes is still going to retain heat and it is oftentimes going to be warmer than the ambient air. That's why you see a lot of the actual uh, freezing rain accumulations taking place on tree branches and standing metal railings and stuff like that. It's because those items are elevated they're raised off of the ground so they are not enjoying the radiative heat that the ground is uh, kind of experiencing you can see though like certain like some of the tall grass like the stuff that actually is getting uh, actual accumulations is going to be grass that is actually protruding and sticking up out of the ground The actual dirt itself, not so much. You notice that? There you go. That is why a lot of times, uh, especially if the temperature doesn't plummet terribly too much, because what'll happen oftentimes, the freezing rain happens during a time that we're talking about right now where the temperature is kind of hovering around that freezing level or just a little bit below freezing. But then accumulation is a whole nother thing. And if you don't have, if your ground is still retaining above freezing temperatures, then accumulation is only going to happen so much. Like the roads are actually fairly navigable right now. I know it doesn't, I, it sounds crazy, but they, they are. You gotta watch out for bridges. You gotta watch out for bridges and highway overpasses. You gotta be very careful on those. Slow down, slow down. Why do we have to watch out for bridges and overpasses during freezing rain events, highway, highway type stuff? Hmm, class? Hmm? Does anyone? Anyone? You? Vanessa? Hmm? Just gonna stare at us with that uh, vacant look, aren't you, Vanessa? You have so much potential, Vanessa. So much potential. Robert? No, but, um, again, Highway overpasses and bridges, again, they are structures that are elevated, that are elevated off the ground. So they lose their relative heat a lot quicker than a road that is ground-based. Whoa, he's like, look at my paw. It can break all this ice. I am a very strong tiger. Give me chicken. Hi, bud. You're very cute. I'm actually filming this, filming this webcast. Oh, stinky face. I am filming this webcast and I am immediately going to go back up to the house. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then I am going to put the video together, upload it to the YouTubes. So it is a day of, it is one of the day of casts. So it's like, it is so recent and topical. This is happening. So when you're watching this, if you are one of the early viewers, oh yeah, everything still looks like this. It does, it does, it does. 
Oh my gosh. It is, I will say, it does create for some nice, you know, more picturesque views and and slash or vistas. It's nice. Eh. It's my birthday yesterday. Yeah, it was. I didn't get any well wishes from from you guys. No, <laughs> I actually I actually did. I got some messages. So thank you for those who did. But yeah. Oh, I'm 33. I'm so old. I'm so old. Pack it in, folks. Pack it in. What do you guys think about this stuff? Do you think that the uh, freezing rain is for uh, the birds? Or is it a bunch of beans and turkey? Excuse. Excuse. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Just because the weather is a skosh uncomfortable does not mean that we forget who we are. Okay? That is not the BB way. Alright? The BB philosophy is one of unity and togetherness. Of handsomeness. And dapperness. And just being overall betterness. Okay? You're better than this. You're better. I know. I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Hi. Bwah. Soups. <sighs> what are these gross boys doing? Dumb, ugly, smelly, gross boys. They're probably just boo-hooing. Not even wanting to come out like, ah, it's, so, it's the weather. <laughs> That's probably them. Couple of wimps. Couple of wimp dum dums. Stripey wimpy dum dums. I'm not going to see any of the, uh, certainly not going to see any of the lemurs because they're inside. They're haters, son. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You know, hands, little, they're a little chilly right now. They're a just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, there's another. <laughs> Ew. You. At least it's icy out. Means I can't smell you too bad. Means I can't smell you too bad. You know how like you get something stinky, but if it's like in the freezer in the fridge, it's not as bad. Well, that's kind of what has happening right now. There's Boomer, and there's Mr. Potato Head over there. Not to mention the fact that I am still, I'm, I'm a lot better than I have been in more recent times, but uh, I'm still slightly recovering from some sinus issues related to uh, just, you know, some, some of those sicknesses that kind of go around. Oh man, I've got a lot of. I've got moisture. Hold on, I gotta. There we go. I just rub the phone on my boob, my man boob, to wipe all the moisture. To wipe the moisture off the screen because I'm sitting there trying to pinch it, and it's not responding because it's taking a lot of different feedback from different. Uh, beads of liquid that are abs that are on the screen itself okay 
That's why. Jeez. Hold on. Ah, much better. I had to do some gross stuff. That would have, would have probably honestly made a few of you gag. Relating to, uh, you know, sinuses and spitting. Kind of neat, you know. It's got its own kind of aesthetic and there's a prettiness to it. The frozen, the frozen expanse, the cold mist, you know, it's all right. I'm sure these guys are probably wanting to hunker down. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They get up and they, they, they make their way around. But, I mean, of course, when it's... When the weather is not, uh, you know, the best, then, understandably, they're going to be... They're just going to be kind of chilling out. Hunkering down. How did that be? Uh, how did that become a phrase? Hunkering. I would love to know the origin of that. Can someone Google that for me, please? Can you figure out like how that one started? And, and it probably has its roots in like maybe multiple different types of. Or it was a thing. Well, it's an old English expression. To hunk was in order to actually make one's bed. It's like something's. Something like that. To hunk. And then it became to hunker. And now the ER was added later. <laughs> it's like, you know, language is fun. It evolves. It's interesting. I gotta be really careful because some of this stuff is really. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mushy? Yeah, mushy. Some of it's very, like that, like that right there. And then it'll suck your feet. It'll just suck them down. Oh my gosh. That would be terrible. Oh, there we go. I thought that, okay. Makai was down below. And there's Apollo. There's Apollo. There's Apollo. Ooh. 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 Ooh, little ping <laughs> there. Oh, those pingies. My pingies are starting to get, uh, they're starting to hurt. Man, I got the frosty, I got the frosty nips, I mean, you know. <laughs> Call back. Uh, there, okay, I'm not going to get too close. Hi, mister. Hi, mister man. How you doing? You having a good time? He's like, no, everything's covered in ice, Derek. And these are somewhat unfamiliar settings. I mean, I'm starting to kind of get my head around it, but, you know, today's not exactly the best day. And it's like, all right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Don't forget that you can go, and there's still the special for the mountain t-shirts, um, the uh, link for the Celestial Bonnie or the Cosmic Zuby shirts are going to be down below. If you put in the promo code PETES10, you'll be able to get 10% off of your order. To learn more about this facility, you can always go to the website carerescuetexas.com. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was actually thunder. It was thunder. As the other thing, we've had, we've had freezing rain and like ice falling from the sky and thunderstorms happening at the same time. Just whack-a-doodle. Whack a doodle. It's just been really interesting. Very interesting pattern. Anywho, we'll talk at you later. All right. Bye bye.